today we're gonna be staying in this Wild West ranch in Hollywood. We have the choice of staying in an Airstream, a tent, or a covered wagon. Now you might recognize this place from Jay Leto's garage, music videos, and even Hollywood productions, sitting just 30 minutes outside of LA. So we'll be pulling up in like just five minutes, so I guess we need to figure out where we want to stay. Are you sure we're in the right place? I reckon we are. That was weird. What the? What have a hat on? Where the dusty trails meet the open sky, Time and Andy step back in time into the Wild West, not knowing what to expect next. Every stay here is an adventure. Where's that voice coming from? What can I do you for? Just checking in. We got a reservation for the wagon tonight? We don't serve reservations here. We serve drinks. Oh. Um, can I just get a... I don't see a menu anywhere. I'm just messing with you. My wife Megan will be right down. <laughs> Wait. It's you. Uh, no, no, I, I... You're brave coming around here, man. Seriously brave. No, 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 I, I think you got the wrong guy. <laughs> You're Andy, right? No, I... It, yeah, th that's me. How do you know my name? Hey, look, I, I've never done this before. How do I know when to, you know? Oh, I, I see. It's like a like a wink. No, I got to fly in my eye or something. Gotcha. You try again? Yeah. Maybe we should take a step closer. Yeah, just to account for the wind and stuff. Chris! Chris, what did I tell you about doing that with the gas? Seriously? Fine, whatever. Enjoy your stay, kids. Don't worry about him, you guys. I'm sorry. Welcome to Prospector Ranch. Uh, well, you probably won't be expected to do a shootout if you were to come book a night here. But let's take a look around a little bit more to see what you can expect while staying here at the ranch. First up, we have the luxury safari tent, and this will run you about $200 a night. So this is the safari tent. Let's head on in. We got our little vanity station for our clothes. Put all your clothes in here, touch up your makeup. We've got this really cool antique vintage truck here. Oh, oh what's in it? It looks pretty, like... Pretty legit. Uh, my, my hopes are high. I still don't know what it is, but it looks really cool. <laughs> the most spacious bed with the most incredible view. Like imagine, you're just laying here. Look at this view. Look at it. With like a little ice latte, little drink, stellar. And to keep all of our drinks cool during the heat, we've got a little mini fridge. Has any, have you guys ever ridden the Jungle Cruise ride at Disney World? Cause that's what, like as you're going through when you see all the people like camping out in the woods. This is it, Real Life Jungle Cruise. And if y'all are wondering about like toilet, shower, these both locations actually share a bathhouse. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. For it being a tent, the front porch is actually like pretty awesome. Or maybe you wanna invite some friends over and enjoy some quality time. We've got plenty of seating over here with a fireplace. All right, so let's break this down. The view from the bed is a 10 out of 10. The necessities from a mini fridge to an air conditioner is pretty much all we need, other than a bathroom, of course. But that's only a few steps away in a separate building, but we'll get to that more later because honestly, it's pretty amazing. The vibes of the tent here make me feel like I'm waking up to go on an adventure, and I feel like Indiana Jones staying in this. Also, it's important to note this. Let's go take a look at the vintage Airstream up on top of this hill. Now, this one gets points right off the bat for having 
an amazing view. It's up on top of the hill above everything else on the property. A very steep hill, I might add. And this will cost you a little bit over $200 a night. I don't think I've ever actually been inside one because we have a bus. I'm excited to check it out. We'll let the adventure begin. Ooh, hello. Living room over here. It's actually a lot more spacious than I thought it would be. I'm pretty sure this is a pull-up bed. It kind of looks like one. Oh yes, big windows, a lot of sunlight. Oh, what's this? We have a little extra counter space that can be put away. I don't know how to put it back down, so it's staying up. <laughs> Moving on into the rest of the kitchen. We've got three burners. That's pretty nice. What's this? Oh, a little table. Or is that the table? Plenty of pull-out countertops just in case you need that extra, extra space. Overhead storage too, full sink, and a fridge. I thought this was gonna be like the bed area, but it's like almost like a little mid hallway. I'm guessing another pull-out bed, overhead storage, and then back to the back of the Airstream, the bathroom. Oh wow, decent size. But what does the Airstream have to offer outside? Outdoor little patio, and then over here we've got a fireplace. And lastly, we have the wagon. It kind of speaks for itself. If you've never slept in a wagon before, this is definitely worth the $300 that you'll be spending to stay here. And now for where we are staying tonight, into the wagon. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So right off the bat, the first little corner that I'm loving is the coffee and tea area. Did you guys know me? I'm gonna make some tea tonight. Bunk beds, anyone? And some luxury seating. Also just realized that this table is the wagon wheel. I don't know how I'm just realizing that now. It's a very cool bed spread. I'm telling you guys, I'm always down to sleep in the bunk beds. Bunk beds, I rock with it. We've got a mini fridge for all the snacks. Tomorrow you will catch me in nothing but this right here. Spurs, is that what they're called? What are they meant to do? Just make you look cool when you walk? <laughs> I thought the whole wagon was gonna roll away. It's bouncy. This is a big bed. Plenty of room. Pillow spray. Is that a lot? Do you guys wanna try it? Oh, that smells really good. Why am I smelling the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> What's the view like? So the window opens up to a screen. This is where you would sit. Wait, I'm gonna unzip this and sit. Like I'm bringing you guys cross country. <laughs> this is where you'd sit. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here all day. She was there for five minutes. It's just a really cool vibe. The crazy thing about this place is it looks like you're in the middle of nowhere, but it's less than a 10 minute drive to everything in Westlake Village. And now coming outside to the side of the wagon, we've got our own little hangout in the woods. Read that. Wait, what did it say? I saw it when I walked in. Chewing aloud, spitting. Snake. Like the coolest chairs. And we've got a little propane barrel fireplace. I feel like out of all the seats, if you were to pick the best seat, it would be the one over here. It's just a log, but direct shot. Look at that view. So after a long thought out decision, I think we'll be spending tonight in the- All right, well now that we have our spot to stay, I guess we still have a little while before it is bedtime. So uh, to the beach it is. I think it's worth noting that the beach is also only 20 minutes from here. I was hoping he was gonna get in the shot with me, no? Now, you're not going to be expected to do this when you stay here, but since we made friends with the host and we're gonna be staying here for a bit, they asked if we wouldn't mind putting away the animals while they were away. Say hello to Jorge. Hey. Let's see if Jorge has anything to say. I had to go for the sneak attack approach here. They knew what they were doing, and it was pretty easy to guide them back to their stall. What are your thoughts here on staying at the ranch? In you go. And then I realized that this guy, Boomer, He's supposed to be in the separate stall. So we had to undo everything I just did. Up next are the goats. Yeah, What's up, brother? I couldn't tell if this look was, where have you been, I'm hungry? Or if he was really confused on who I was. We got some goat food. Or maybe he wanted to fight. I really, I really couldn't tell. Well, that guy's a little lost. Come All the animals are tucked away for the night. Good night. This view is incredible. Oh, also, this is where we have the bus parked, if anyone was wondering. Kind of looks like Jurassic Park going on here. We met some new friends and all had a movie night. We watched a movie called The Eagle Huntress. I can't say it would have been on my normal movie watch list, but it was a fun experience because the host, Megan, had actually been to Mongolia and rode with a lot of people from the movie. You say America, buddy. <laughs> now, I'm not doing the bathhouse reveal yet, but I just want you to know that 
This mouse was staring at me while I was peeing. Well, it is getting late and time to head back to the wagon. Who side am I on? Oh, the wood coasters. Be sure to enjoy the little things tonight. Now, I thought this thing was cool during the day, but at night, this thing is pretty magical. Well, we got one last step to get ready for the morning. Man, this thing is very yellow during the day. Make sure it's locked. Welcome to the bathhouse. In all of its magical wonders. <laughs> we've got our toilet, we've got our sink with our vanity, and then my favorite part of this whole entire thing is the clawfoot bathtub. Like, are you kidding me? But then if you didn't want to take a bath, you can also take a shower. Because there's a full stand-up shower. Very spacious one. Do you feel like five of me in here? I'd say we had a pretty successful stay here at the ranch. Sometimes you just need that little getaway. So remember to get outside, chase the sun, and hit that link in the description if you want to book yourself a stay. Today we are going to be staying in this Wild West. That's hard to say. Wild West. You want me to say it? No, I got this.